intelligent integrated system for personalized medicine. And in particular, concerning personalized medicine, we are targeting a very specific approach that is based on the measurement of the drug concentration in patient blood. Actually, this is, this is one of the possible approaches toward personalized medicine. Of course, you can also go through genomic analysis on the patient or biomarker analysis, but this particular approach is kind of interesting because actually it goes directly to the effect that all the different uh, um, source of variability from patient to patient, how do they impact actually the final reaction of a patient toward a certain dosing. So basically, if we have a different genome, we will react different to a certain dosing and we will transduce it differently in a concentration of the drug in blood. And this will, that will in the end, determine how we react to the drug. So there are a number of treatments that are very critical with respect to uh, the drug that we take. And in particular, we identify the three very critical treatment that are uh, performed nowadays, that are some HIV therapies, so immunosuppression for organ transplant maintenance, as well as anti-cancer therapies, some anti-cancer therapies based on tyrosine kinase inhibitors. This kind of study, pharmacokinetic studies, based on population studies, are performed at present at SHU, and we have the chance to work with the Department of Pharmacology that is absolutely the state of the art was this kind of studies. Basically, in this kind of field, there are a number of actions that has to be taken to go in this direction, and what we are trying to do is develop a number of technologies, so a platform of tools, that can be used uh, to this concern. So the action is, first of all, to spread this therapeutic drug monitoring culture. Actually, uh, at present, there are a number of drugs that must be characterized in terms of pharmacokinetics. That, that is demanded for, from, um, um, actually from a healthcare organization. So basically this, this is something that will come in the future. But to spread this kind of culture is important that the medical doctors that give the treatments have a mean to understand how to adjust their dosing. And that is why we need technologies, of course, that are based on software for those adjustments, so algorithms that take the data concerning the, concerning the concentration of drugs in, a blood, in a blood patients and systems that measure in a point of care approach this drug concentration. So it means that the medical doctor will take a blood sample and this point of care system will give an answer on the drug concentration on, on, on this moment. So like this week or that day. Second. So this, is, this can be done in a short term, and this is actually what we want to do, a uh, part of what we want to do in the, in the project. Right. Second, it's important to provide a seamless connection with database and patient record. And of course, also for this, the, co the contribution of SHU is, is very important, but also the contribution of, uh, of people that develop software, that develop communication systems that are able to do this in a seamless way and to distribute uh, the computation power that is necessary for this kind of integration, for this kind of uh, computation. And so model building and personalization and localized and remote processing are the kind of technologies that we need to address this action. Finally, uh, of course, in the long term, this kind of personalized medicine approach based on drug, on drug uh, concentration measurement can be applied to also other kind of treatments that might need an automated drug monitoring and delivery. So we are also developing technology for automated in vivo delivery through nanoporous membranes, uh, as well as communication tools to uh, have based on body area networks, basically. So body area networks will be able to communicate with <coughs> the system that, ha that will have the information and that will provide the computation necessary for the automated drug delivery. And let's see how we propose to measure the drug concentration in blood. Actually, this is a new approach because we, are, we have to deal with drugs that are very small and that nobody ever tried to detect on surfaces. So to do that, to be able to detect the presence of these molecules and to quantify these molecules in blood, we need new receptors. So we need new molecules 
in this case, it's a sequence of oligonucleotides that are able to recognize and to capture the drugs. And so, uh, given this new receptor, there are several ways in which we can detect the drug. It can be the quasi-label free, so it means that once the drug has been detected, there will be a label that will recognize the change in conformation of this probe and give a signal through an electrode. Or it can be label-based, so the receptor itself is labeled, and uh, once it's changed conformation, it is able to give the signal to the electrode, or it can be label-free. So basically, only the, fact, only the presence of the analyte or the change in conformation is sufficient to give a signal. So first of all, what we are doing, um, for instance, in, in my lab, is the, uh, so the selection, the identification of these molecular receptors. So these are sequence of oligonucleotide that are called aptamers. And for the first time, we are using this kind of selection techniques that start from oligolibraries on DNA and we are selecting these DNA aptamers for two kinds of uh, uh, drugs, that is imatinib and the fabirins, that are the drugs involved in the, in the diseases I mentioned before. So this, this particular cycle will enable us to find uh, and to select uh, and to isolate the receptors that change conformation upon binding with their drug. We recently have the... Uh, the interest and the, and the collaboration of two, uh, of two companies, ST Microelectronics, for what concerns the development of a prototype of the point of care, because this is what we want to, uh, to provide as soon as possible for clinical trials, and Arion Biotechnologies for the functionalization of surfaces based on polysaccharide photolinkers, Optodex, that is their, uh, their IP. So in this way, we are trying to uh, to complete our, um, I mean our set of tools, uh, to have them state of the art, and in particular here, to be able to deliver something as soon as possible for the medical doctors. Thank you for your attention. There are uh, uh, the medical do the doctors involved in this project. Well, they are first of all here, in the, uh, because the, the department with which we work is a pharmacokinetic uh, department, so basically it's, I mean, I think in the last 20 years there have been work on pharmacokinetics, so studying the, how, the pharmacokinetics, so how a certain drug concentration evolved in different patients. So they study populations, they study the specific drugs, so they have data and they provide these algorithms, basically. First, and second, they provide us blood samples, so my lab in particular, to be able to test the sensor with real, with inf let's say, in infill conditions. And they also, of course, suggest us what are the right concentration of drugs uh, to, be, to be tested and what are the uh, interfering <coughs> molecules that we will have to face on the sensors. So this is the two, uh, they say this contrib the contribution of SHUV has these two aspects. And, and they also have a standard system for drug concentration measurement, mass spectrometry, basically. So we compare with that.